Good day, good day. Welcome to Roverland. How the honk are ya? This is your friend Dan O. Yeah, we got something a little bit different today. Uh, I'm going to be trying something a little bit different. We got a poll going. I'm going to try doing a poll there on my community meeting. Bam. Is this a Land Rover? Whoa. Or is it not a Land Rover? <laughs> it's droppable. <laughs> That's the question for today. Uh, one of my videos, I happened to show one of these. And uh, so you guys said, yeah, let's take a look at it. So what this is is a Matchbox Sahara Survivor. And I do collect this. There's not too many out there. We're going to take a look at them. But uh, right now, I want to know, what do you think? Is this a uh, Land Rover or not? And uh, I guess what we're going to do right away quick is, is uh, we're going to try this again. It, it worked out so well the last time I used my computer. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, here we go. This is it. This is a model of the, the SAS, uh, you know, uh, British Rat Patrol, the SAS Desert Patrol. This is kind of what um, the um, Matchbox is kind of fashioned after, all right? So, what do you think? Is it or isn't it? I collect it because it sure darn tootin' looks like it. Now, I know that, you know, it's got the uh, top bars and roll bars to it. I know this is more of uh, adventure and not so much military, but it's got sand tracks, it's got the tires, it's got luggage rack all over it. You know, they didn't put guns on it because it's more exploration and, and adventure than uh, anything. But uh, right there, that's it. Uh, I'm going to start away right now with this one here, just to let you know, this is, uh, I guess, the holy grail for this model. This is, uh, what do you, what year did this come out on? By the way, um, I used uh, Fandom, Fandom Wiki is another uh, thing that I use, and uh, of course the BAMCA org. Uh, I use them a lot. We're probably going to follow along theirs. But these guys have a lot of Matchbox stuff that's pretty cool. But uh, there you go. Check those guys out. But uh, this one right here is the one that uh, 2011 came out in 2011. And we'll talk more about it. But this is one that I've been kind of looking for. Well, actually, I just found out the other day uh, when I was making this video Hey, I'm missing this one. I didn't even know it was there, but there you go. So let's uh, start with what we got here. Now, uh, you know that I've got, uh, I don't I don't normally <laughs> collect a lot non-Land Rover stuff, but uh, I do this one. I've been for a while. Uh, this is my jammer. I've got a couple of uh, uh, beat up ones and stuff like that. And uh, stuff so this is my spares but my actual collection I don't put it uh, I haven't put it on the wall or anything like that so uh, uh, I keep it in this case it has a clear cover that closes over it but um, yeah so let's get started right here I'm gonna move this ahead here a little bit whoa move this ahead here a little bit so we can take a look at it a little bit easier this is not really going to be the best scenario or best way of doing this, but we're going to try doing it. So this casting started in 2009, Matchbox, and um, MB782 is the number, and uh, this is uh, quite the little car. This one has a plastic base to it, and uh, if we can... Uh, Kind of shine a little light on there. Maybe we can see that a little bit better. Show you exactly what the uh, base looks like. And and that. Then there's... Uh, so then it has a roll bar on it. An interior and a metal body. Uh, there you go. So that's kind of the basic model. Um, so this is a tan 
with the green interior with a tan base. Ba tan, I guess, is what they call it. And tan uh, wheels. What do they call those? Uh, flower, flower with the ring. So that was the first year that we uh, saw that one. The next year that we've got is uh, 2010. And this is more of a uh, brown color. And uh, I don't know, for some reason I just don't like my light today. I'm just not liking the light. But this is a tan color. It, or uh, brown beige color, I guess. Well, they call it a brown, I guess. Uh, with a tan interior, black roll cage. Uh, and that uh, black base. This is a plastic base with a metal body. And... Uh, R7, not really sure what the R7 stands for, but uh, that's what that one was. Bullet holes on the sides of it. <laughs> Didn't have guns on this, but it took it took fire. It took fire. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, you know, they kind of took some liberty, you know, licensing liberties here. You know, they didn't want to pay for, you know... Um, I'm sure they didn't want to pay for uh, royalty rights and stuff like that. So, you know, they took some uh, artistic liberties, rounded some corners. But, you know, they've got the eyebrows there, you know, and, uh, you know, kind of rounded the corners to the front end. But otherwise, you know, that's pretty much a Defender front end, you know. Uh, winch on the front there, you know, pretty nice. Uh, this happens to be a, whoa, right hooker. And I lost that one, so we'll just move right along here. Slippery little buggers, look out, cheese balls. All right, so then what comes up is uh, 2010, and this was a Lesney uh, edition. This came with a collector's box and uh, sat on the, on the card. It was a little bit bigger card, and it came on a collector's box. Now this one, uh, they dirtied up the wheels a little bit. And uh, they really did a, a quite a, a, a decos, you know. They they colored it, you know. The spare wheel on the front there is colored and everything. And you really see up here in the front wheel that they really did some neat weathering. Full decos, got the lights on the back, and some detailing on the front. Pretty awesome. Now this one comes with an unpainted base, metal base with a metal body. So this is metal on metal, just doesn't come with rubber tires. So they called for a little bit more money, but uh, it wasn't uh, per se a premium uh, because it didn't have rubber tires. So the next year, uh, and this is kind of a question here, which came out first, but uh, these, these two buggers, this one and this one, came out in the same year. This is the um, 2010, 2010. And now this is kind of Zamac. Of course, they don't call it Zamac because that's a Hot Wheels thing. But this is an unpainted one. Got a nice blue stripe on the back. Matchbox there. Yeah, pretty neat. Tan interior. Got the hood painted on there. That's kind of pretty nice there. Black roll cage and tire. Tan base to it. But just a nice sharp car. I do happen to have quite a few of these. I don't know. They were kind of easy to find. Um, but, uh, you know, I don't have any of these uh, on the card. I don't, I don't uh, you know, I just collect these loose. I don't have any on the card. We will talk about something that I do have on the card, but that comes up later. But uh, here you go, still again, here's the olive with the tan interior, and uh, still 2010, and uh, just pretty neat. Uh, once again, it's got the bullet holes there. I mean, it's really kind of neat. It's got ga jerry cans, a pack there, you know, there's toolboxes and packs there. You know, the back is uh, full of toolboxes and kits, you know. Uh, I'm not really sure what these uh, musical notes, <laughs> the music bars is there, but yeah, we got bullet holes again, but uh, really kind of cool. I, I really like that one. It's pretty, pretty nifty, pretty nifty. Now this one has the plastic base with the metal body. All right, so we move right along to uh, 2011, 
which is this white and maroon, they call it. And I believe that it, it came out with this one here first, with this style wheel. And then the variation is this other, uh, I think they call that the construction wheel or something like that. But it's got Matchbox on the wheels, which is really kind of cool. I don't know if we can see that. Oh yeah. So there you go, same thing. Uh, white metal body, maroon interior, plastic, plastic bases to them. Uh, these all just came out in single packs, you know, for the most part, but uh, really sharp white. It's kind of like a frost white. It's not really enamel white. It's kind of, it's kind of like a frost white. So that's kind of cool. The maroon, yeah, take it or leave it. But yeah, that's it. But I, I like the uh, orange on there. That's pretty neat. That's kind of neat. I like that. The white with the maroon. So like I say, I think the this one was the first one, and then that variation came out. I, I'm not really sure. Uh, BAMC8 didn't really have an um, opinion, I think, on that, you know. So, all right, so then let's just jump to um, the next year. Oh, and that the next year is uh, 2011. These came out in 2011, and then the play set of that green one, that lime green one, that's the one I'm missing from 2011 that we saw earlier. Uh, so we're looking for that one. <laughs> 2012 is this black and white one. This is pretty sharp. This is kind of the first time that they had like, well, black, and it's like uh, polished, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's like a, uh, what do you want to call it? a sports car? You know, it's all polished up and, you know, uh, MBX, you know, Matchbox Adventure Team on the back there. Experience. This was, uh, what do they call this? Yeah, Jungle Experience or something like that. But really kind of neat. Yeah. So, uh, white base, plastic, white interior, orange roof rack. Or, or roll bar. This is the first time they had something else other than black. It's been black since uh, since this time. So this is kind of a really flashy one. But uh, that's 2013. Then the uh, last one for this model, the BM782, is this one here. And this is just an olive green. Nice color there. They did some decoing on the... Uh, Jerry cans a little bit, some uh, checker plating, uh, number three, back to the black roll cage, tan interior. So this is kind of a regular, you know, deluxe model, but not, you know, I mean, it had a lot of decos to it and uh, just nice, sharp. And it had the smoke wheels to it, the uh, smoke colored wheels. So really a nice one. I, I was able to find quite a few of these buggers too. So that was, that was kind of neat. All right, so we're not done, but we're done. Because uh, after this year, um, they redid it. And uh, let's see, so it was 2014 that they um, re-modified, or they modified it to um, MB942 in 2014. And this is the first bugger that they did. So what happened was uh, about that time is when they started cutting costs. And uh, there was a lot of parts with these, you know. There's a base is different than the interior, which is different than the, the roll cage. Um, and, and the tire is part of the roll cage. We're going to have to take a look at one of these uh, taken apart. When, But anyway, so what they did now is is they have a base and then they have this orange piece that is all one piece and then they uh, did the roof a little bit different and you see around the surrounds of the tires that's the biggest di difference there is uh, this one the uh, tire comes up and up underneath into the uh, hood where this one is just one piece they just kind of took that out so a little bit lighter, but this has got a metal base, orange, 
got some kind of screaming cat on the back with some checker plating. So that came out in uh, 2014. This is a sharp one, 2015. So now we're all plastic bodies. We kind of flipped. Um, before it was a metal body with a plastic base. Now it's plastic bodies with metal bases. So this one's got a metal base to it. And uh, they still call it the uh, Sahara Survivor. Uh, nice blue to it. See, we can zoom in on that there. Sahara Survivor, there it is, MBX. Got some coloring on the... But uh, there you go. I mean, it was kind of nice that they kept it alive, you know, kept the model alive. So that blue one came out uh, 2015. And that's where we're going to stop, uh, whether that came out or not. But then, then we have a little bit different one here. And um, this is, come on now, this is the Jurassic Park edition. So, uh, Jurassic World, excuse me. So this is a, tan, a gray, light gray one. Now this comes out with a different uh, uh, roll bar and cage. This was more of a tan color, a uh, light tan color. The, the, the orange one, the first time they did that, that comes out with a gray. It's, it is much different than the black ones here. You know, you can tell that was gray. But then they went back to black. But now this one with a Jurassic World, it's a little bit different. And, uh, so yeah, so this one, uh, I still do have, uh, uh, for the packaging because, um, <laughs> believe it or not, your friend Dano is a big Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, uh, collector. So I still have one in the package as a five pack because that goes with the, uh, all the, the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World stuff that I do have for that. Um. So there you go. So this one came out 2015, and then they had this one here as well, which was a black one. Now that's a plastic body with a green metal base. I like that green. You can really see see uh, the bottom of it. You can really read it. These are all made in Thailand. Now this one's got the green roll bar, roll cage, and spare tire. But uh, let's see, what can you see that? The, yeah, little Jurassic World thing there. Yeah, oh, there's Jurassic. InGen, I believe that's what it, no, Jurassic World, JW. There you go. Yep, and so let's take a look at the packaging on that one. Um, I did not collect the first um, Jurassic Park, Jurassic World stuff because it was all non movie vehicles um when the last jurassic park you know matchbox did the jurassic park uh series and jurassic world i collected every one of those because they were actual movie cars uh talking about that you got to comment down below if you want to see my jurassic park world okay i i've got quite a i've got everything in the standard stuff and, uh, yeah, so I've got a complete collection, carded and uncarded on that. Um, but anyway, let's get, <laughs> I'm getting off track here. <laughs> All right. All right, so um, let's uh, keep going. Jurassic Park. And uh, I lost my notes here. Okay, 2015. There was uh, the blue one, Jurassic Park. Now, there is uh, an orange one in 2015. And that came with uh, the different style of wheels. And that came with, oh, where are they? This style of wheels. They did an orange one. And it has um, gunmetal wheels, but it's this, this six spoke like this. But it's on this car. See how it, it's, it is different. I do not have that variation. I, I don't know um, exactly where that came from but uh b-a-m-c-a -A says that that would be the next one after jurassic park in 2015 so then uh 2015 later on came this one here and they call that a six spoked ringed flower 
and um, oh, that's this one. Sorry, that's this one here. So that's a six spoked flower with a ring, ring flower. So this came in a dark tan color and uh, got a ominous snake on the back there. Cool graphics there. But uh, this is 2015. Gray, gray now for the top. And uh, same kind of decoy on the, the other side, but a little bit more for the luggage and stuff like that. But really just kind of cool. So 2015. Uh, and then 2016, same thing, but just a wheel variation. Yeah, so that that was uh, really kind of cool there. I don't know why we can't really focus all that good today, but we're not. <laughs> all right, so say, same thing there. Yep, same thing there. Metal base, plastic body, plastic top. All right, and then they did say uh, BA... BAMCA said that there was another orange one in 2016 that came in a 10 pack. Uh, same basic thing as this one. Um, I have more of these. I don't know if one came from a 10 pack or not. I'm not sure. All right, last but not least, 2017 is the last time we saw one of these buggers. They did a really nice job of um, deco on this, plastic body black roll bars they did some nice painting on the side number three decals with checker plating gun smoked wheels on it uh but yeah metal body or metal base excuse me plastic body mbx and uh so there you go uh so that's it that's that's the collection that's kind of the the whole rundown of um the sahara survivor and like i said i'd like to know uh your guys's uh opinion on that um i'm gonna take one of these I, I made a custom one uh black on black this is metal on metal this is the first one and uh we'll just take a look at this one i did some detailing and stuff like that on it you know nothing nothing special nothing special but i didn't get any real riders on it but uh so this was kind of hard to do because, uh, well, I mean, they did make a metal on metal one. Ugh, I can't get up. Oh, chase balls. Come on now. There we go. All right. So the uh, plastic top or the plastic roll bar does snap in on the back on the bottom here. I don't see if I can grab my little screwdriver here. Kind of have to just kind of push this in here. All right. Well, I had it and then it went away. Well, come on there, you little bugger. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to live filming. Yeah. There's no editing here. All right. So it just kind of pops off. And you just kind of whoop, 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 whoop. There it is. And then it just got that uh, tab there that uh, snaps into the base there. We need to focus on that. So this is just uh, one nice piece there. I'm going to see if we can zoom in a little bit, see if that'll show up a little bit better there. But that's the one piece for the uh, top. And this is the metal body part. Nice little pickup thing. But uh, this is kind of hard to see, but it's got a roll of uh, uh, ropes down here, some tents it looks like, and a bent rim. Oh, that's got to hurt. But, uh, yeah, two posts with a support post in the middle. And then it has the um, piece here that was the interior. Total separate piece. It kind of snaps over like that. And then comes the uh, the base, which does not, um, it does not have three prongs to hold it. So the uh, interior piece would set on there to hold the wheels down and then let's uh get back here and uh, we're gonna put that in and drop it on down snap that together i'll bring our base up here 
Now, they did have a little problem. They did a little bit of monkeying around where they don't fit perfect. I don't know if you can really see that, but it's a little off. So I kind of made it so it would fit, so I could get a metal on metal. I think I took a part from the old and a part from the new. So this is one of the heavy castings of the Safari Sahara um, Survivor. And this is one I made with a plastic base and plastic top. So let's take this one apart. This one comes out a little bit easier. Once again, here's the base. No three prongs on the bottom. I put these wheels on them. They're a little bit big. I, I didn't use any of the regular wheels. I, like I say, I like I like these wheels, so I I use these wheels when I can. Uh, and then it's just two pieces here, and uh, that. So there is no uh, interior piece, and that just comes right off. So they use the body to hold back the rear wheels. Still, it looks the same on the inside. Not too bad. It's got little seat belts and stuff in there. I mean, it's really kind of cool. You know, they got nice details and stuff in there. And like I say, this stuff is just totally awesome. All the packs and all that, that's just totally awesome. Then they changed the, uh, the hood as part of the spare tire and the, uh, the lights, the, or not the lights, the mirrors on the sides are part of that as well so really kind of neat so it doesn't really hook in there anymore it just sets on top you got to snap that back piece in there and then the the spare tire well I guess you do because it kind of has to kind of has to hook in here like this there you go so it kind of hooks in the nose here a little bit and then it snaps on there but so the front part holds the front axles with the spare tire and the body holds the back part so that, ladies and gentlemen, is the lightest matchbox you'll ever see. Plastic body, plastic base. <laughs> it does fit in there, but it, it's, uh, yeah. But there you go. Kind of fun. All right. Hey, thanks a lot, guys. We're uh, going to have to cut this one. That's, uh, that's about all I got. Uh, I do want to say a special thank you to uh, a couple of my new friends. This guy especially, he comments on my videos. Thank you very much, Dan. You're a really swell guy. I appreciate you. And uh, one of my subscribers and, and guy that comments a lot, Colin Lane. If you haven't seen the Colin Lane video, uh, you know what? I'm going to leave a tag up here so you can see the trade box that Colin and I have done. The first one. Hopefully there's more. Yeah, there will be. But he's uh, one of my uh, first subscribers and he writes a lot. This guy here, Ralph, I like this guy. He comments a lot. He's a he's across the pond and uh, very knowledgeable. He comments every once in a while. Pretty cool. And Weapon, Weapon X-Wing, I like this guy too. He comments every once in a while. So thanks, you guys, very much for commenting. And, uh, you know, feedback is awesome. I appreciate it. So there we go. Remember, you know, Roverland... Everything and anything Land Rover with your friend Dano. And remember, kids and folks, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.